Hello everyone, welcome to Downtown Tailoring. In today's video, we are going to be trying to make a real purse. And for that, I'm using the Babylon leather kit. So let's see how it goes. So this is the box that they sent to you. There's nothing better than open a box you were expecting. And here you go. So this is pretty much the kit. They say that it has everything you need to do the purse. So let me just check. So these are the parts. It has the holes already. So it will be very easy for me to sew. They include as well this brochure and the brochure has an explanation about everything, the company, what you are expecting in the kit. And uh, here you go, all the materials, it has the Oh, I think this is the belt. It has all the hardware. It has everything, I think. <laughs> so I don't know specifically any of this. Oh, that's a lot of needles. This is everything all together. And now we are going to start our purse. I think it's very easy and simple to start. They say that even beginners can make it. As you can see, it comes with pre-cut leather pieces and everything you need, so you don't even need a machine. So let's see, is it going to work? Is it going to be worth the time versus buying it? I'm super curious to see. So they include a QR code that you just need to scan with your phone and then you will just go to the tutorial right away. So you can follow the tutorial it's supposed to teach you how to make the purse. So they included even the thread as well. And I'm gonna start by stitching all the pass holes. They even tell you how much thread you need. For example, for the pass holes, you need the width of the sides three times, and it's supposed to be enough to make them. And each time that you are gonna sew, you are gonna need two needles at the same time. So you are going to thread your needle in each of the tips of the thread. So I'm gonna put a needle there. And uh, after I do that, I'm gonna pass the needle through the thread to secure the needle. So the needle won't go anywhere. And I'm gonna do the same with the other side. That will make me do a um, way better and more lasting stitch. This, this is one of the many stitch that shoemaker, bag maker uh, use when they sew by hand. So pretty much you start and insert the needle in two holes and then you can go one by one, like a one by one. So they kind of crisscross all the time and I'm gonna go around the whole pass hole until I do the whole thing and then after I do the whole thing, I'm just gonna go and do uh, one or two back stitch just to make sure that that won't go anywhere. And after that, I'm gonna cut that thread and I'm gonna burn it a little bit. You know that if you have seen other videos of me working with shoes, you know that I'm always burned the thread when I finish. And the lighter, for obvious reason, is the only thing that they didn't include in the package. Well, I finished my first one, then I'm gonna do the second, and I'm gonna do all of them. I realized that if I, if I know that I have to make so many holes, and they included so many needles in the package, I thought that, well, better just to thread all of them at the same time and I think I will cut a little bit of time you know like just when I finish I just take the next and the, and the next the next until I don't have any more me and my shortcuts <laughs> so I'm doing that and let me tell you something this is wonderful if you like crochet or knitting you want to entertain yourself Oh my gosh, this is the most relaxing activity I've made in the last 10 years. I can assure you, it's so addictive. Now that I finished all my pass hole, now I'm gonna work on the bottom of the purse 
and they say that I need to take um, the amount of thread in order to be sure that I will have enough thread to, to make everything. So I'm going to put together the two materials and this time we are going to make a different stitch. We are going to make uh, some kind of crisscross. So I'm starting threading two holes at the same time like usual. But this time I'm going to crisscross. So I'm going to go from one side to the other and then crisscross it, crisscross it. And then at the bottom you will have a line and at the top part you are going to have a crisscross. Now I have to put the base of my purse and I'm going to screw the studs. You know, when you do that, make sure to use your screwdriver very well because you don't want to lose those. And here you go, it's all done. I'm going to cover those dots with a little bit of protectors until I finish making the purse so you know I can just fully do whatever I want. The next step is just to sew that bottom part of the purse and again I need enough thread as four times of the length that I'm gonna sew and as usual I'm gonna thread both ends of my thread. And I'm going to do the first stitch I started. Remember, you just do one stitch with one needle and then you use the other and then the other and then the other. I finish and the purse is really looking good. Now is the time for the closing clasp. And it looks really, really, really nice. Now that the closing clasp is there, I can sew the pocket. And here... I did something like I would do like a, because I am just so whist. I mark where I knew that it was the center. But then after, when I saw the instructions, I saw that they even counted the amount of holes that you need to sew first until you do the first stitch with the pocket. That's amazing. It's now six o'clock and I'm going home and I am all addicted to this sewing, so I really can't stop. So I'm gonna keep sewing at home, but before that, winter is coming, and I decided to take the last of my things, do a little bit of dinner, and go back to my sewing. I finished the pocket, and now is the time of the straps. There is a particular way to sew those straps because we are going to start sewing the strap. They, they make a hole a little bit bigger. So there is the mark where you are going to start sewing the strap and then you go and sew all the way around. And then when you go to the other side of the mark, then you are going to sew the strap and the purse together. So the strap will become attached to the purse. And here we go, this is like that, and it's looking really, really, really good. So it's the next day, and now in my store, and I'm gonna finish the other strap for the little key, it's so nice. In this case, I made a little mistake because I should have inserted that strap within the butterfly before I saw the key, but you know, I just wiggled it and I was able to put it on, but would have been better <laughs> if I did it the opposite way. But it's okay. Everybody makes mistakes, right? So I'm going to close that part just to hide the key. And ta -da! it's looking, everything is looking so good. It's so satisfying to do this. Honestly, mmm. I can't wait to get another. Now we're gonna sew the top of the straps. 
The holes are very precise, so I was able to sew very easy. But now I'm going to go to the most difficult part, that, the part that I found the most difficult, and is attach the straps to the purse because there has been to be a little pressure and there is a like a lot of material there it's, it's kind of a little tricky like a me me that i was a cobbler before i would have just glued that part but i wanted to have the whole experience the way it is supposed to be so i just did it and I did the first part and the second one, you see, is a little bit trickier because you have to make sure that the straps will be like a half a loon. So I kind of tight it and that really helped a lot. So I'm almost done with my purse. Those little gloves is uh, to protect your finger, but I really think that my fingers are okay. And I'm gonna sew now the sides part and then the purse pretty much will be ready. In this case, because we don't have one right size and a wrong side, we have to hide the thread in between the purse. And it's a little tricky to go around there. <laughs> and the purse is done. I'm going to put all the accessories so it looks completed. The key for the lock is so cute and nice. I'm going to put the straps as well. The strap came uh, all prepared. So I'm just attaching the strap to the loop. And this is the purse. You see, this purse looks like it's a small purse, but it isn't really. It takes a lot of things. Let me show you. You see, I was able to feed my cell phone, my tablet, you know, any things that you need, like comb, a little bit of makeup. You can put it all there and the purse will feel very comfortable and very nice. Now I don't even know what to do with it because it's so beautiful. This one, in particular, Grace Kelly used to love this style. And this is why it's called the Kelly style. It comes from Hermes. This style was first designed by Hermes or Hermes. And very popularized by Grace Kelly. And today is just a staple in the back world. I am very impressed with the result. I like my purse. It was easy to make. It took a little bit of time, but you know, it was very relaxing while I was doing it. If you think that this will be something worthwhile for you, you can go to the link in my description box and uh, you can get a 20% discount for yourself. And if you want me to do another kit that you are curious, just let me know in the comments. I'm really curious about your opinion as well. If you find this video useful, please give us a like and don't forget to subscribe, share, comment. Bye!